So I'm just going to give you a, a rundown on this uh, chess rig. And um, first thing I want to start with is just an overall view of it and what you get. Now, first thing we'll start with is the options before I get into all this. So I can make, I'll disconnect the straps and have, so have a little bit more room. So you have the option of like a, this H yoke. I'm going to call it a H-yoke, I don't know what you call it. You've got the little loops in here for radio or um, hydration. They run both sides. They simply um, use typical buckles, plastic buckles. Really nice quality ones. It's all registered multi cam. And they come, this runs down the back over your shoulders. Now, the beauty of this design is that if it's a, if you're running a lot of mags and a lot of weight, this stays away from your, your neck, body into your neck. Um, so, you know, that's a, a great great option to have the two different um, straps that, that come with this um, so that's that and what they do they obviously attach to here one on the other side and you've got this back strap that goes around your torso it connects to there so that's that one So with the other option, let me take this off. Now the other option is a crossover. got loops here so if you want to run hydro or run your cables through there maybe that's an option and what you do is you cross them over like that so that goes over your shoulders and that crosses, you got this cross on your on your back. So that's the other option. So I'll ditch all this because I don't have very much room on this table. And I'll make it easier for everybody. I'll take the torso strap off as well. All right. We'll start with the mag pouches first. Now, when it comes in the post, you've got these um, covers that obviously are just velcroed in. So you, you get three of these. The center one's got a. I can find it. Yep, the center one's got a, a plate attack logo and um, it's got a bit of velcro there for morale patch. I don't like running these. Um, so you can either, you know, tuck them in there if that suits you. That's find that annoying. I just take them out and I'll leave them out. So I'll just get rid of those. Really, you know, excellent quality. 
Okay, so you can run, I've got three different types of mags here from 5.56 to um, 7.62 in um, like your mark, mark 17s or your scars um, and your AKs as well. All right, so I'll give you a, a demo. Now, you've got quite <coughs> a lot of room in there, but you've got these elastic bungee cords, which you can cinch them down, so less chance of them falling out. So I'll put them all in. And if you want to run six mags, it's easy. It's not a problem. Nice, stable. All right, so we'll get rid of those. Now we go to the scar mags. Fit in there easy. Yep. Not a problem. Again, if you don't like, if you find that they're too loose, you can just cinch them up. All right, so we'll get rid of those. AK mags. Again, like the 556, five, a little bit loose, but not if you tighten up those little lanyards. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now, if you want to six stack these, you can do that. I find if I push them in from behind, it's a lot easier to get them in. And I look like a liar on camera, but Murphy's Law. A little bit tighter than the other mags when you six stack them. But doable. Absolutely brilliant. So I'll pull those out and we'll move on. All right, let's go to the other pouches. He's obviously got the same pouch on the other side. Now you've got a, a little strap that goes over the top. I'll be quick before I forget, you've got these drainage holes here as well for moisture. The bottom of the uh, mag pouches. Inside these pouches, He 
you can you've got these adjustable elastic paracord so you can run a radio um, if you wish pockets go all the way down to the bottom or you can run put more mags in there or um, you know snacks whatever batteries and you've got another front pocket within this one you've got molly on the inside and the outside and you've got a drain hole on both pouches one here one there um, front pouch quite a spacious one maybe you could run admin in there or uh, medical whatever your heart's desire and you got loops here as well now with these loops it comes with uh, two options you can run uh, your nightsticks and they just mull in and the other one this is an elastic band which I'm running my um, obviously the tourniquet in between the two pouches um, yep, obviously you can see the molly molly on this side as well on the back you've got this perforated pouch now you probably could run maps or admin in here the only thing I would be concerned about running maps is if they're not waterproof and if especially if the ink you're using or whatever it's not waterproof from your body sweat it's gonna either damage the map or you're gonna blur something so you want to make sure that it's uh, whatever map or admin that you're using that it's uh, moisture friendly so that's velcro there but you've got the other option of a zip as well which is great so that's a lot more silent than trying to rip this open in the middle of a quiet bush good idea also you've got these little sections here you could probably some paracord on that for some for some reason I don't know don't know exactly what you would use that for maybe you could run something behind it that goes into the bottom of the pouch I'm sure someone will put a comment and then behind these pouches you've got another pouch now this is not detachable this is fixed it's elastic Again, you could run more mags, food, um, whatever you think's appropriate. I think they got they drain holes. Yeah, it's got a drain hole. Is that a drain hole? Uh, I don't. Uh, no, I don't think it is. I think they are. I'm not sure. So you got one of there, and you got one there. Obviously, you got the Plat Attack logo. Tells you exactly what it is. And I think it's got the date of manufacture on there as well. Um, okay, let's flip it over. Now here's another handy option. Velcro on here is like super strong. So you put Velcro more pouches um, on the front. Now what I would do personally is run a dump pouch. Now some people would go, why would you run 
a dump pouch on the front wing is just going to be, you know, knocking it, knocking you in the nuts or, you know, it's going to be a pain in the ass being where it is. Now, I have no issues, I never had any issues running a front dump pouch. Um, I've seen plenty of other uh, real steel operators who run a front dump pouch. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Now this is a sword dump pouch. I've already done a video on this, so if you want to know the ins and outs of that, watch the other video. So there you go, you're on your dumb pouch. Okay. Let me get rid of this shit. So that's another really good option. I will mention one thing about um, these straps. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more adjustability. Um, 